Hello and welcome back to the Radical Removans. I just declared war on the Byzantine Empire, effectively for Constantinople. So, let's do it. We're going to raise up everybody we can. We do not have enough hi piety to hire my holy order, which is very amusing because that was my first move. Um, we can wait on that though. We'll grab everybody that we can. Uh, actually, can I hold another festival? I probably can only hold this festival that I had in the... Well, I can probably only hold it when it's peace, so that's fine. Right, anyway. Let's merge up over here. Wait, we only really have 6,000 troops? I must not be moving all of them. Yeah, a few of them aren't moving. I must have clicked on the... Wait. I must have more troops. Right, let's, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. 11,000 is a little bit more in a, in the right wheelhouse. I mean, it's still incur... Well, let's see. We've got 9,000 plus another 3,000, right? I'm just trying to figure out if we've got any troops that are hanging around anywhere. Oh, yeah. See, that one's not in there. So that's fine. They're all heading in, though. I don't think we have any land off to the sides anywhere. So I think that is all of our troops, weirdly. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so we'll just let that then merge and we'll see how much piety we get in the meantime We have a few people joining our court. These are some new um, uh, Hopefully some new military people uh, Commanders is the word I was looking for Yeah, so we'll get ourselves a One here One here and one here just basically replace our lowest ranked ones Continue. Oh, we got another one in our court. Fantastic. I actually didn't know that we did that many, so that's another one that we can replace. That like replace the 12 with the 22. Continue merging up. The Byzantines are going to be doing the same thing right now. Pooses are expiring. Do not care. Although I like the nickname. The war. That's the. Oh, it's the Word Slayer. I thought that was the World Slayer. Oh. That's a lot less uh, impressive, to be honest with you. Right. So we have 13,000 troops. We have another 200 making their way over. But effectively, that's our full army. So, we can hire some mercenaries. Do we do it? I think yes. I can't hire these guys because I don't have enough piety. I could spend 300... I could spend 600 gold getting us close. Is it worth it, though? Let's see. There are 21 for 6,000. We can spend 26 for 4,000. Is there any better cost uh, value ones? Wow, some of these cost so much. Uh, per. So that's nine, that's nine for 1,800. That's better. I mean, obviously we're getting worse troops for that, but that is a better value. How much money do we make per month? 18. So we can quite cleanly get one of the 16 ones if we want to as well. 21 is actually reasonable. We'll get the Rust Company. Right, we have enough money to hire them for a reasonable amount of time. Head over here, Russ Company. Just want to make sure that we ha we are as strong as possible before our first battle. Because that's the only one that really matters. If we win the first battle, we can crush their armies. If we don't win the first battle, then we lose the whole war. They're taking attrition in our territory as well, which is quite nice. Well, I sat on a province that doesn't take attrition. So, first things first, this guy, Flanker, put him on the side. Also, because he's our best uh, leader... Stick all the troops that we can underneath him. I'm going to uh, balance these two. But effectively, we want his flank to destroy. Center. Um, I was kind of hoping that one of them had a good... Well, we don't really have any... We have some cavalry, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out whether it's worth actually going weaker in Marshall to get cavalry leader. But he does also have this battlefield experience stuff as well. Um, I think I'm going to go with Aris and Hanu here. Yeah. That's fine. They're taking, still taking attrition and... Yeah, okay. It's not ideal right now. I would like to face this army, but it's about to take attrition. I'm going to slow things down. I'm happy standing where we're standing because they're taking attrition. Yeah, look, look how many troops they just lost. So they're actually significantly weaker now that we just waited. Yeah. Uh, how much is the supply limit here? 15,000, 17,000. I want to find a route forward that involves us not taking the same attrition. 
So really, we want to make it to that province right there. Yeah. That's, that's our ideal province. Let's go. We don't care about being in that province, because that province will take attrition. We want to sit here. Ali proposes we send more troops. Um, sure. Whatever. Can I um, do a mass sacrifice right now? Cannot do a mass sacrifice because I do not have 200 piety. But if I get 200 piety, I can then do it. That gives me a lot more moral authority. I don't want to spend 300 gold for it, though. I'm just going to save up. Arrange marriage. My daughter. Uh, no, decline. I am going to marry her matrilineally to... Um, I don't know. Actually, were there any good people we could get a marriage with? Not really, no. Uh, matrilineally to somebody. That's, that's my current plan. It's really not very fleshed out. How about this guy? That seems good. Right. Just hold off. Okay. Uh, we could build a fort here. Does that give us... It stops us taking attrition. I'm just seeing whether it gives us anything else worth having. I don't think so. I was wondering whether it gave you, like, defense bonus, but I don't think it does. I think I might be thinking of civilization. Uh, are we still making money? No, we'll lose the money. Okay. So... Our next step. I'm trying to think. I definitely want to be able to hold off till we get that extra piety, potentially. Or until I see their troops, at the very least. Somebody else joined the war? No, they have taken war score because they control Thrace, and they also control our lands. I'm going to take this one back. Yeah. The stubborn Baron of Memel is really getting on my nerves. My wife, uh, Surma, sends my irritation and offered to give me advice on the matter. Uh, I can say yeah or no. Yeah, let's do that. I became content, but I'm not overly worried about that. It's not going to affect us right away or at all. It gives us more piety per month, actually, which is nice. A large merchant caravan from distant lands arrived at the gate of your stronghold. Uh, let them in. Trying to see whether this gives us any kind of piety. Do I want this guy to join my court? Um, no. That's fine. Jihad for Anatolia. That's brilliant, right? Wait, why are we minus 100? Oh my god. The Byzantines are amazing. I, wait, if I assault, I actually have a half chance of, of still staying in the war. But Jihad for Anatolia is against this bit of land, right? So it is against the Basilius. Alright, I need to assault. Hopefully I can do it before the timer runs out. Yes, I did. Fantastic. I actually... Wait, he, he just released my troops. Wait, why did he release my troops? Or my, my why did he release my prisoners that he just captured? He hasn't released them. Wait, they held by Count Zacharias? Wait, did the... The Emperor just died, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Emperor just died. There's a very second. Wait, did he? No. Uh, wait, no, that's his father. Wait, sorry, I wanted to look at here. I think the Emperor just died. Died under suspicious circumstances, June 29th. This guy inherited. That means that the guy who we were at war with is now the person who has our family imprisoned, and he is no longer the emperor, so he we lost the war score in there. Oh my god, that that was so lucky. Okay. Um Okay, I don't know what to do with that uh, information. You would like me to buy back my daughter. I'm gonna accept. Yeah, unfortunately he is still sieging our land, but I think that was fantastically lucky. Also, the fact that they just declared a jihad is amazing. Like, down here. Because that means that he is now against them as well. So, the jihad, the Shia jihad for... Um, so, it's 18,000 troops. And where's Anatolia? That is the... Yeah, that's this bit. Anatolia. So, basically, he's declared for the land right next to where we're declared for. But anyway, that's fantastic. I mean, there's 18,000 troops that are going to start hitting that side of the empire. If we can just hold off until that happens, we're, we're laughing. That's fantastic. Okay. They are heading through. Um, I'm wondering whether we can catch a troop, actually. We might be able to catch those 5,000 if they head the same route. Though, 
they're heading to... Uh, where are they heading? So one's heading up here, obviously. And one's heading in here. Okay. And one is heading... Here? Yeah, one is heading here. 3,000 men are heading into this province. I'm going to fight them here. They changed their mind, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to walk back out this way. It's a very interesting war, because we are significantly weaker, and we are running out of resources, but really slowly. That's a lot of men they just lost, for some reason. Uh, I want to head in here, see if we can potentially grab them. Ransom prisoner? Yo, uh, 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 mm, uh, no. I just realized how much he was asking. I don't want to attack over the Danube. Can we get there first? We would get there first. Is he going to commit? No. We could attack in here, but we all suffer from the river crossing. Hmm. Okay. Are they being attacked yet? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So how do we want to play this? Where are the river crossings? Major river crossing that way. There's basically a river between every nearby province. We can sit here and siege. We're actually not taking attrition. Uh, and actually, we could just assault this down and then we don't take any negative siege events. That's probably the best move. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assault it down. Then, I think I might... I'm tempted to build a fort, but I don't think that's going to be amazingly useful. Mm, probably not. I'm trying to think. It might slow them down on sieging it back, but that's not going to be an issue for us, hopefully. I'm just kind of waiting for men to start attacking down here. Because once men start attacking down here, he's going to have to move. So we actually kind of have the advantage here. Yeah, he's moving up, but that's, that's incorrect as a move for him. I think. We could head to Constantinople and try and capture him as an option, but we'll take a lot of attrition going through, I think. And Constantinople is extreme. Well, actually, it's usually extremely well guarded, but it's not well guarded at all. We can just head straight through to Constantinople. Uh, we should have enough supply limit on the edge here. Yeah, we're good. Let's just walk to Constantinople. See what he does. That's our new move. New play is, uh, see, uh, you know. Oh, we can't assault it because it's got four level six or abo above. So it is actually going to take forever. But at the same time, we're on Constantinople. Is it worth it? Probably not. I want to try and find their army. We'll, we'll take a step out. Wait, actually, the, the capital's over here. In, in this one, anyway. So we might as well head over to that one. What's the fort level here? Fort level is... I have completely forgotten where you see fort level is it on this one do you have to open the extended view for fort level it's on here somewhere fort level 5.0 yes we can actually head over there perfect i want to head in here we'll suffer river crossing but we have double the number of men assuming his army isn't sitting there we're great uh, i've gained stress because i'm trying to gain wealth apparently but this is good this is our fight yeah so we have seven thousand more troops our leaders are amazingly better I think this is the right play. Two children lack education. So that's uh, my son. He can have a, a, a learning education. I don't know. And there's my daughter. She can have an intrigue education. Cool. Right. So. Our flank with a lot of men. This is one that we have three times as many men on that flank, effectively. That should just destroy. Like That should just stop existing any moment now. It's going a bit... Like, I mean, we are on slow, but if I move that, speed that up a little bit, that side's just going to fall apart. Actually, it looks like the center fell first. How did that even happen? Must have got, like, bad rolls or something. Or maybe I have bad troops on that side. Anyway. Uh, I want to head to their cap. Oh, wait, we're about to be attacked. They will suffer a river crossing, though. 16,000 men, they're suffering a river crossing. I think this is fine. I think this is absolutely fine to take. Yeah, 15th is when they're going to arrive, but that's okay. We're slightly lower on men. We did take a tick of attrition, but I think this is all fine. They don't have a leader. Okay, so on this side, we have a 27. They don't have a leader. We have the most troops. That's the one we're hoping to win. Our center is 
we're just hoping it survives. Our right hand side, same kind of thing. We're hoping our left flank destroys. They, they do have a negative to a lot of what they're using, but they do also have better troops, or some better troops. They have a lot of heavy cav, although the heavy cav is weaker, so we'll see. I'm thinking the left side should fall, though. As that's basically what I'm hoping. Our center looks like it's going to collapse, though. For whatever reason, our center is just falling apart. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but then their center actually lost a lot in that last bit. In that uh, melee phase. Okay. So our right's falling apart. So basically just hope everything's on the left flank. If it wins, then we're good. Yes, it's it's won. Okay, so it won that, and then it won the center because it got weaker during the melee, and now we can win the right-hand side because we got a flanking bonus, and we have somebody who's really good at flanking. Hopefully. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Instantly. Oh, then more joined. But we should still be okay. We won that flank instantly. They have a flanking bonus on us, though, so we actually lost. That was their other army rejoining, I think. That was a... Was that a lot of war score we just lost there? Yeah, it was about 30%. Okay. Oh, that could have gone worse, though. That could have gone much worse. And actually, weakening them that much is very good for us. Because it should mean that the Shias... They ever actually... Wait, I'm to the... Yeah, the Shia Jihad... Uh, it should actually go well if they ever actually get to it. Ah, I see. There's some land right there that they were having to siege first. That's why it's taking them so long to get here. Okay. Do I really want to head back to my territory and reinforce? Maybe go and take our capital back to get us a little bit more money because we're losing quite a lot. Well, we're losing a lot because of our retinue reinforcement. So I should turn re retinue reinforcement off. There we go. Right. Head back up here. Advisor. Um, That one. That's fine. Okay. Head back up. And we just want to head back to our capital and... and uh, well, actually, do I want to de-siege our capital? I mean, right now... Apart from that, do we have any negatives for it being sieged? I mean, it is making us nothing. That is definitely a negative. Actually, no, it just has no men. It's still making us money. Being looted already. I mean, I think I just keep it there, right? Yeah, I think I just keep it there. There's no reason to uh, de-siege it. If I de-siege it, the only thing that's going to happen is it allows them another chance to capture my uh, family. I am going to beat these uh, 2,000 men up, though, because they dared come near me. Yeah. There's a peasant revolt against us in Yerva. Uh, not worried about it. Not worried about it whatsoever. Okay, back to this. Okay, defeated that army. That was good. Going to assault some of these down, get ourselves some free war score. They have taken war score against us, which is a problem. How strong are the Shias? That's what I want to check next. How strong are the pe the other people fighting them? So they have 18,000. So they should be able to, in theory, um, weaken the Byz... Like, they should be able to beat the rest of the Byzantine army that we've got here. I don't think... They've hired some men, but I don't think they sh should be able to fight off both of us at the same time. We need to reinforce, though. They're still getting 500 soldiers a month. Uh, I think if we head to the mountains, we should be okay to reinforce in the mountains. Yeah. Money-wise, we're not great, but we could extort our subjects, actually. I'm gonna... Or Ooh, I could organize some blood games. We want to get piety if we win, though. I want the mass sacrifice for the extra um, morale. I'm gonna extort my subjects. We can lower everyone's opinion of us by 10. I can take 350 gold to extort this one guy. He is... My, elite, my military leader. He is now infirm, which is definitely not a positive thing for him. He's about to die. I'm going to take the 350 gold from him. Okay. Um, even though you have explained it in detail to Arislan, he does not understand why you're plundering his mansion. It seemed evident that giving up some of your wealth in support of the realm was the right thing to do, but Arislan is having none of it. Okay. Oh, how many men are left in that um, band that we hired? 1,400. It's costing us 9 per month. Is that worth it? Probably. That's probably fine, actually, to keep them. I was wondering whether we wanted to get rid of them for the... for that, but I think we're fine. Okay. I want to reinforce in the mountains so that if they come and attack us, we're well protected. Um, My marshal's been using some men to... It's been using people to extort other people. Uh, Well, there's not a lot we can do with that. I'll have to deal with it later. Yeah, I, I, I can't 
like fight in a uh, civil war right now. I got cramps. Okay, don't die. Thinks we have camp fever. More like cramp fever. Okay, excellent symptom treatment on us. That's fine. Many find it odd that I work in the fields, uh, but tending to the land and crops makes us feel closer to Ziminia. Okay, do I want to become friends with High Chief Kenna or continue? Continue, I want the piety, I want the mass sacrifice. Yeah. All the Wendish Empire will run with blood. We need the 30% extra morale. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the right option here. We're known as the Heart Eater. Okay, that's a pretty cool nickname. Wait, did they actually siege... They actually sieged an island. Why? What possible benefit do you get for sieging that island? I mean, yes, it's unlikely they're going to siege it back, but that's only because it's a pain to get to. Right, anyway. Continue. We lost cramp, so we probably weren't getting camp fever. It was probably just a symptom. Okay. Uh, the Crooked Prince uh, Gid... Divilas has called in a favor to force them to pardon his deeds. Okay, sure. That's fine. Somebody died in, the, in that guy's uh, dungeons. Not worried about it. How many men do the Byzantines have now? 22,000. Wow. They are... They're, they're keeping their power, huh? So, where's Thrace? Thrace is all the way down there. So, if I want to get war score, I have to go down there and siege something. Do anything others oh, well that's not in Thrace. Uh it doesn't look like there's anything easy to siege. We could run there and just try and assault something, but we are gonna lose a lot of troops, and it's not really gonna be worth it. Okay, I'm gonna head back down here. We can probably Well, we might I don't know whether we can reinforce the same amount there. We might be able to. Let's see. Now only 57. Alright, let's head back. Where are they going with those boats? <laughs> That's always worrying when, when you see boats. Um, okay. His capital is still undefended. I think we go for his capital. We, we see if we can capture someone. I think that seems like a good option. We'll go the default route because it's trying to take us a route that we don't take attrition on. We're unmarried. My wife is dead. Okay. Uh, new wife is... Oh, wait. Oh, she's somebody's concubine nearby. I could marry her. Uh. No, I'm okay. Uh, let's just marry. Yeah, let's marry this person. That seems fine. Uh. Oh, yeah, there, there we go, like that. Yeah, that's fine. We, we lose some prestige. Who cares? That's 750 troops we can beat for free. Uh, I'm going to take the money, obviously. It's a lot of money. We won another war. Nice. Head over here, into the capital, and we can assault this down. Perfect. Okay, we didn't get anything else for it, unfortunately. How many troops do they have now? Uh, they still have 22,000. Okay. Uh, we can extort our subjects again. It might be the best plan and then get some more mercenaries. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a good way around this, but I think that might be our best plan. Extort. Take money from the clergy. Take money from everybody. It take money from everybody. Okay. So, the peasants of Memel did, as expected, not appreciate the extra tax we forced upon them. The peasants even elected a leader among them, who started asking questions why this tax was necessary and exclaimed that they would now have to starve. Perhaps something should be done before they get the pitchforks. Um. Mm, um. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Do I want to lose 75% of tax or all of the tax? I guess all of the tax on all three provinces? That's going to hurt. Okay. Uh, I do want to get some mercenaries though. We could hire our band. Our band is 29 a month, though. Our band is going to bankrupt us. We can get... Another 2,000 a month. We can get 2,000 for 12. That's 30... So that's 5,000 for 30. 2,000 for 12. 
I mean, it's kind of on it's on the right level. It's just that we, we can't afford them for very long. Right? Although we would be able to siege a lot of stuff. Potentially. And that would then get us money. Not money. Uh, that would then get us um, war score. And money. Yeah. That's going to cost us too much. I'm going to get one of the 12s. Yeah, and then I'm just going to move them over here. We're just going to wait here for them. Get the remaining reinforcement and see what we can do with that. Yeah, that's our best plan. We're really not doing very well in this war. That's okay. Do I want blood games? Uh, no, I don't want blood games just now. That's okay. Group of carpenters somewhere. Do I support them, not support them? I want the city tax. And I got two. I got another stewardship. That's fantastic. Some more money, potentially. Are we, how fast are we losing money? Very. Okay. Uh, we have 13,000 troops. How many do they have now? 23,000. How many do the Shias have? 4,000. Damn, they lost their war heavily. <laughs> okay, well. Sneaky strats? Uh, well, we're not actually at war with them. We're just hostile them. Okay. I need to siege this land to get taking war score to go away. Taking war score going away gives us 35% straight away. Yeah, I need to siege it. Okay. We made some more Lithuanian. That's neat. My wife is pregnant. Also neat. Uh, my wife is pregnant. I'm starting to worry if I shouldn't organize something. Uh, Well, no. Essentially, I don't have the money for it. Right, continue our siege. Scarcely believe it possible, but the pregnancy has made my wife look even more beautiful than she already was. Um, yeah, we're going to be chased because I would prefer the piety. Because we need it for the war. Okay. Assault down. That was really good. Like, that's a lot of war score we just swung in our favor. We need a new spy master. That's going to be this guy. Okay, we also need a new commander. It's going to be that guy. And I'm going to have to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we will continue the war. See you then. Goodbye.